What would it take to make the United States the greatest nation in human history? In 1869, abolitionist and social reformer Frederick Douglass believed he had the answer. Born into slavery in 1818, Frederick Douglass never thought he would see the abolition of slavery during his lifetime, but that didn't stop him from trying. In 1838, while being forced to work in Baltimore shipyards, Douglass donned a disguise and escaped his enslavers. He spent the next 27 years touring the United States and the United Kingdom, calling for the abolition of slavery. He gave fiery speeches, wrote books, and even published his own abolitionist newspaper. The outbreak of the American Civil War in 1861 gave Douglas hope that the end of slavery was near. After the Union victory in 1865, the passage of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments emancipated four million enslaved people, made all black people U.S. citizens, and granted black men the right to vote. These achievements filled Douglas with a newfound sense of optimism and inspired him to write a speech entitled Composite Nation that set out his vision for all the U.S. might achieve if it could eradicate prejudice once and for all. Between 1869 and 1875, he delivered the speech to audiences across the northern United States, calling for Americans to embrace three key principles, absolute equality for all people, racial diversity, and religious liberty. Douglas believed that by accepting and championing these principles, the United States could become the greatest nation in history. But starting in 1877, new laws were passed that curtailed the rights of black people, hampered immigration, and discriminated against people of different faiths. These measures set the course of freedom and equality back decades. Douglas was angry and disappointed, but he never gave up hope that his country would one day overcome prejudice and become a truly great nation. What are some ways you can help make Frederick Douglass's vision a reality? 